thank you for your view. I appreciate you. This is part two of the Tumbleweed 24-hour hunt. We cover 3 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. during this 20-minute hunt. I've done a lot of time-lapsing in order to crunch it down. I think I got it down to like eight minutes or so, including the beginning and end. So during that 20-minute hunt, I do really good here. If you can see, it translates out to $206.58 per hour, along with 1155 XP per hour. Post 1.06 for legit earnings, that's not bad. Now, if I were to come out here and hunted from maybe like 7 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. or like 7 a.m. to like 3 p.m., adjusted that time a little bit more towards the daytime, I think that this could be even a lot better. So in the future, I'm going to actually try that. I'm going to try a hunt where I start at daybreak and then work till like mid-afternoon and just focus on birds during that hunt. You're going to see during this hunt, I get a ton of birds here. I'm going to kind of show you how to force spawn them a little bit and show you how the spawn mechanics are working in 1.06 as far as these birds go. Not a lot has changed since prior to 1.6 as far as these birds go, from what I can tell at least. Now, I'm still waiting for the sun to really come up because a lot of these birds, the only thing that you're going to get at night really is like uh, an owl and they're pretty far and few between i didn't even see an owl during this hunt so i'm just kind of waiting for the sun to come up and get those birds out and in the meantime you know grab a little meat grab some hides throw a carcass on the horse you know just get ready to head back to the butcher have a little bit extra but really this hunt over here is just all about waiting for the birds i mean you can make a little bit on carcasses the birds are just going to be the payday over here now there's two condor okay the sun's up the birds are coming out i mean like two condor that's a dollar fifty per feather i just dropped two of them that's going to be six feathers i just made nine dollars just in condor feathers alone right there that's not counting the meat that they're dropping like, they actually dropped more meat than they did before 1.06. They dropped two pieces of meat instead of just one. And then there's flight feathers. But I don't even want to get into counting those, because that's just, like, pennies. We're going to be maxed out on flight feathers. So that later on, when we're skinning birds, we won't even be pulling flight feathers anymore, because you'll only carry ten of them, and you get three per bird. So at this point, we've already got six flight feathers. Another bird and a half, and we're full on them. No, turkeys, they don't drop flight feathers. But I'm going to kill them, because that plump meat, it's not a bad pay. You know, turkeys, they drop three plump meat. They drop three turkey feathers, and they drop, uh, well, I guess that might be it. But anyways, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good drop. You know, a turkey's not a bad kill. If you're out here, you might as well do it, because I don't know of anything else in this area that drops plump meat. Except for maybe a pheasant. But I think a pheasant drops game meat. I'm not 100% sure on that. But pheasants do drop animal fat. So if you're out here you need any animal fat, you see some pheasants during the daytime, take those pheasants to get some animal fat from them. Now this is the money spot, okay? This is where you're going to be making the money. This is Rath's Colors Fork. It's north of Tumbleweed. And there are, I don't know, something like eight different locations where you can get a top tier bird here. That includes vulture, condor, and hawk. Okay? Now, as you can see, I'm walking around in this area and I'm not seeing a single top tier bird. So you're probably thinking, like, what am I talking about? If this is the first time you're seeing this area, you're like, I'm not seeing any top tier birds. Well, you're right, there aren't any there. So I'm going to run out and I'm going to come back in a moment and see if I can get some to respawn. Now, as I'm running out, I see these deer here. Now, I'm going to shoot them, but while I'm skinning them, pay attention to what goes on. Because I'm going to be keeping an eye over towards that spawn area. Right now, I have my back to it, because stuff doesn't really want to spawn when you're looking at it. But now, at this point, I've noticed that there are birds that spawned over there. Okay, you can't really see them because I'm time-lapsing, and if you don't know where they're at, then it's going to be hard for you to detect. I'm going to scope in with my rifle and point them out to you. But now that I know they're over there, 
I'm trying to keep them on the screen because I don't want to look away and then look back and have them be gone. So check this out. I'm going to scope in and I'm going to show you that there is a hawk, a condor, and then I thought I saw a vulture over here. And, and I still think the vulture might be behind one of those poles, but I only get the sight on a crow. And then I look over here and I notice there's even another hawk. So now we have for sure two hawks and a vulture, no, two hawks and a condor, okay? Now it's kind of tricky because if you take a shot at one of these, then all of them start to fly away. Now only the ones that you can actually see are the ones that fly away. Stuff you're not looking at has a tend tendency to just completely vanish altogether. So what I like to try and do is position myself in a way where I can look over top the entire area and try and keep as many on screen as possible. Which I did actually a really poor job of it right there. Because as you can see, my condor vanished. But we found a vulture over here too. So I skin a vulture, I skin a hawk, and then as I'm coming over to skin this other hawk, I notice another vulture spawned. So, like, originally we saw one condor and two hawks. Now we've seen two more vultures. That's five top tier birds that we've located in this one spot so far. And it's not over with. I look up, and what do I see? Another vulture. Okay, so now that's six top tier birds that we've seen at this spot. And you might think it can't get any better than that. Well, it might. I mean, there's always a chance that you can get more than just six. I think that I did really good that run. There's a lot of times you're going to go up there, you're only going to get one, two, maybe even three. You know, six is pretty, pretty hot. But, you know, there are chances of getting more. There's just, you're, you're going to, the more you hunt that area, the more you're going to see exactly how many different spawn locations are up there. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. I kind of hate almost making videos on it because I feel like it's going to be the next thing Rockstar starts to nerf if everybody starts going up there and hunting and making good money. And that's kind of just like a dismal outcome because that's not why I'm making this video so they can go nerf everything. I'm trying to help people earn some money legitimately. So thanks for coming in. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new because this is only part two of a four part series. Part three is coming up next. So until then, happy hunting and happy trails.